Hello beautiful soul and welcome to my channel. Today we will be discussing about a very important topic which is curiosity and how curiosity contributes to your happiness. Curiosity is awesome for our well-being. It is like a superpower that can reduce stress, keep our brains sharp, it helps us connect with others, boosts our creativity and reminds us of the good old days when everything was new and exciting. So how can we cultivate curiosity in our lives? Well, it can be pretty simple really. Just start by asking questions, exploring new things or seeking out new experiences. Let yourself be open to new ideas and perspectives and engage with the world around you with a sense of wonder and curiosity. For instance, I personally love checking out new places in my city, especially when it comes to art. I'm a big fan of art museums and seeing new exhibitions. Every piece of art represents a chain of thoughts that the artist brought to life. Observing art with curiosity is like trying to solve a mystery by understanding the intention behind the art. It can lead you to new perspective in life. These days, it's super easy to get bored and feel meh about everything. There is so much information out there that is tough to find something that really grabs our attention. We all know our attention span is getting shorter and shorter, so it can be a real challenge to stay interested in just one thing. But when we let ourselves be curious, we unlock a whole new world of cool experiences and opportunities. Think about the last time you tried something new. Maybe it was a new food, a new hobby, or a new destination. How did it make you feel? Chances are, you felt a sense of excitement and anticipation. You know, before traveling to somewhere new, that night, you have a hard time uh, sleeping, right? <laughs> you are too excited to sleep, and that feeling is what I'm talking about. I really want to buy this, and I love the, the big paintings like this. Can you imagine a wall, yeah. and the whole wall is this? So pretty. Curiosity has a way of bringing out our inner child by reminding us of the wonder and excitement we felt when we were young and discovering the world for the first time. Go back to your childhood and remember how you were curious about every single thing around you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, magic. Wow, wow. Everything, every innovation that came to life, it was sparked by a curiosity. Every new discovery was the result of someone getting curious about something and then going for it to look for the answers. Going back to our inner child state can be so exciting and wonderful. And when we embrace curiosity as adults, we can tap back into that childlike sense of wonder and enthusiasm. So next time you find yourself feeling stuck in a rut, Try tapping into your natural curiosity and see what it takes you. You might just be surprised at what you discover because the fun of it is just to be spontaneous about it and just see where it goes. You are very detached from the outcome. Rather, you just appreciate the journey and you just have fun with it. What an experience. We go to museums often these days. Mata, mata. We, got, we got at that age where... We like museums. <laughs> We're old enough to appreciate museums now. Because before, you know, like, even if it's free, I wouldn't go. Like, too boring. But now I like museums. You have to be old enough to enjoy the museum. Uh, 
I enjoy museums now. <laughs> One of the things that fulfill my curiosity, especially since moving to Korea, is exploring new cafes. Korea is full of unique cafes, each with its own special vibe. That's why I rarely go to the same cafe twice. I love the excitement of discovering new places and experiences different atmospheres. Being curious is super powerful, you know. It can help us out in a bunch of different ways. For example, when we're curious about someone else's interests, experiences or ideas, we can create a stronger bond with them. That's because when we show interest in what someone else is into, it makes them feel seen and heard. And that's important for building a sense of belonging and connection. You know, when you have those conversations with someone and they just keep asking you questions, they are very engaged in the conversation. How do you feel then? You really feel that you want to share more, right? You want to tell them more and explain more. And you know, that creates a stronger bond with that person. Let's try with the smallest one, baby. As social beings, we need to feel seen, we need to feel heard. For example, me, I feel so grateful to people who actually take the time to listen to me and to try to understand my point of view. And not only that, but being curious about other people can also make us more open-minded and understanding. When we take the time to see things from someone else's perspective, we can grow our empathy and compassion and become better at seeing things from different angles. When you start a conversation with someone with an open mind and without judging that person, you can really learn how to see life differently. Actually, the best thing we can do for ourselves is constantly changing and adjusting our beliefs to who we want to become. Also, did you know that being curious can actually improve our mental health? Engaging in new activities that we are curious about has been shown to reduce stress, anxiety and depression when we're curious, we're focused on the present moment and we're less likely to dwell on negative thoughts and emotions. You know how I always emphasize the importance of the present moment. When we want to reduce anxiety and fear, we just have to shift our focus back to the present. That allows us to actually stop the inner chatter that the negative inner chatter that our mind engage in all the time when we are not focused on the present. Being curious can stimulate our brain and prevent cognitive decline, which is very important as we age. By embracing curiosity, we become more creative, innovative and adaptable. As I say, you change your mind and change your beliefs constantly. So that, that way we can discover new solutions to all problems and make progress in all areas of our lives. Curiosity can be life-changing and I thought it was very important to bring this subject up in this video because I really want to remind you that you still have that inner child in you and that you still can see the world through new lenses and just be curious and excited every day about new things and therefore you can grow and learn constantly and be a student of life which will allow you to be a creator 
And that's how why we're here. We are here to contribute to this world. We all are creators, so we need to use that creativity in that imagination to become that creator. And curiosity is a big element and a big contributor in this process. So don't be afraid to unleash your inner curious cat and explore the world around you. Who knows what kind of awesomeness you might discover? Who knows what you can create? Who knows what kind of life experience you can have if you just go with the flow and follow what you are curious about and follow what excites you? Don't forget to like this video if it was helpful and subscribe for more videos about how to heal ourselves and live our best life. I will see you next week. Goodbye, beautiful soul. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go.